Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Zach Gray here, your photography business coach. I'm really excited to be on here and doing this live Q&A for everybody. This is really exciting for me. I've been doing a lot of coaching and Q&As and conversations over at the Photo Mentorship Pro, which is where I've been coaching a lot over the past six months. And I see a bunch of you guys logging on right now. I see Sierra, Rhonda, Shonda, all my, a lot of my friends coming on. Kendra, you guys are the most amazing. Thanks for coming out. If you'd like to comment, please comment below. If you have any questions, I will answer your questions, but I have three questions that got sent in to me and I wanna go through those today. So what am I doing? I'm out here producing as much great content as I can for all of you out there who have a passion for photography and want to turn that passion that you have into profit. Or maybe you've been following me for a long time. I know there's 64,000 Facebook fans on this Facebook page. And I know that many of you have been following me for many, many years. And some of you may be stuck. You may have been building your business, but maybe it got stuck and you're not able to grow or the market is too saturated or the technology has made it easy for everybody to take cool pictures and it's becoming more and more difficult for you to get an edge in your photography business. So if you're listening in right now, comment below, let me know that you can see me and hear me okay, that everything's working fine. Just wanna make sure that there's no technical issues. I can see I've got the live stream going on the other side and I'm always double checking it to make sure that I can hear everything and it looks that way. It looks like it's working great and I'm stoked that you guys are here. So maybe your business is stuck or maybe your business is doing well, but it's sort of plateaued. Maybe it's not doing more, it's not growing. And uh, one of my old business coaches from a business book I used to read from Jack Trout, he says that businesses are either growing or dying. There's no in between, right? It's either doing one or the other, so it needs to be going somewhere. So. For those of you who've been wondering, what have I been up to the last six, eight months? I've been working with my amazing friend, David Molnar, over at the Photo Mentorship and the Photo Mentorship Pro, where I'm a coach. I'm also doing my own coaching, and I'm going to be doing workshops, and there's workshops coming out with the Photo Mentorship Pro, and there's all kinds of amazing, cool stuff. <clears throat> we have a podcast over there. We have uh, 45 skill training courses where we help photographers learn all these skills with these great courses. And inside the Photo Mentorship Pro, we have these great three courses called the Paid to Shoot System, Paid to Shoot 101, 201, and 301. And what do those do? They help you start, build, and grow a photography business. And I know a couple of people that are on right now are part of the Photo Mentorship Pro. They're a part of that process with me, Kendra and Shonda and a couple of you guys. Uh, that are here, are a part of that. Uh, Kendra said, I'm loving the beard. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Look at all, this is kind of scary. Before we jump in, I'm going to jump in in a second here. This is not going to be a long live, but look at, look at all this gray in here. I mean, my last name is gray, so I guess I'm supposed to have gray in my beard. Um, but holy cow, like, I feel like, I feel like a grown-up. I feel like a big boy <laughs> with my... Uh, so Don said, yeah, she loves TPM Pro. Lisa said they are amazing. Uh, Don said, hey, Zach, hey, uh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for uh, coming and being a part of this and promoting uh, something that's so great. But what's going on? Okay, so I've got some questions that came in, as you saw in the comment and the description below. And a number of people asked questions about their business and about problems they were having in their business. I want to answer those questions. Julie said, love Team PM Pro, fantastic courses. Don said, love TPM Pro, the courses are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, more about that. If you guys want to learn more about the photo, yes, Sierra said, I'm aging gracefully. Oh, you are, you are too kind. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys are the best. Um, and Shauna said, Zach, I'm so grateful for everything you have taught me in TPM Pro. I love, love, love your teaching methods. This is going to be a profitable year for me. I love that. Um, wow. Kendra said, I can't tell you how invaluable the things I've learned in my photography business have been. That's, that's incredible. Man, what a blessing. What a blessing it is to be a part of something together, right? Everybody coming together, working together, helping each other, the rising tide, raising all ships together. So really quickly, okay? So there's this, I, I just sent out an email today to my personal email list. 
Um, and I talked about sort of this, this idea of, you know, there's this feeling you can have of being stuck, right? Of things not going the way you want them to go. And that feeling of not having what it takes, and that's a really difficult, challenging feeling to overcome because it can sort of permeate your entire being. Like you go out there, you put their, yourself out there, especially as creatives, right? We get our cameras, we go out, we, we want to take pictures, and what we do is we don't usually hold them up and go, hey, what do you think of my art? What do you think of my work? We tend to do this. What do you think of me, right? That's what a lot of us do. And when that doesn't get received, meaning maybe we want people to applaud. Maybe we want people to applaud by paying us, by booking us, right? Uh, Shonda just said, how do I get on your personal email list? I'll tell you more about that. That's coming up. Um, I'll give you info on that. Um, but th that idea of, you know, this problem of putting our, our art and our creativity up in front of the world and sort of holding in front of ourselves. And when that doesn't get received well, that can be very challenging for us as creatives. So this is something we talk about in the Photo Mentorship Pro, especially in the 201 course, right? We talk about this. Uh, my old coach, Julia Woods, used to say, up until now. That's a powerful, personal, transformational statement. Up until now. I don't have to experience that anymore just because I experienced it in the past. And I also don't have to receive that as a part of who I am, right? The things that we start to think and say become our beliefs and eventually become how we behave and interact and engage with the world. I love this Lisa just said. I learned so much in the past week um, compared to an annual program that I did. Thank you, Zach. Wow. I love that. Thank you so much, Lisa, for, for saying that. Um, that's powerful. I, I love that there's, you, you'd be shocked and surprised at what can happen in a short amount of time if you know what to do, okay? So let's go through a couple of these questions. And, and as, I, as I dive in, let me, let me do this. Let me tell you a little bit. Maybe some of you know this, maybe some of you don't. But some of my story is this growing up really poor. My dad left when I was a little kid, when I was five years old. And I grew up in northern Minnesota, and the challenge that I had was I only went three weeks into the third grade, and I never went back to school again. What that did is it created this fear in me that I didn't have what it takes. And that's a very scary feeling. That's right in line with that email I sent out today. I'm afraid I don't have what it takes. And you may be asking yourself that question, do I have what it takes? And I'm here to tell you, you may not have had that in the past, but up until now, right? Now things can change, something can be different, okay? So I met this amazing couple, I talk about them all the time. They're probably sick of me talking about them because I've known them for many years and they're, they're smarter than me now and they're super successful and they're, they're amazing and they're probably tired of it, you know? But every time I say, hey, do you, do you mind if I keep talking about it? They, they still let me talk about it. But uh, Luke and Kat is this amazing couple. Oh, and somebody just asked, uh, where in uh, northern Minnesota did you live? I'm from, I'm assuming from there, I'm from the Iron Range. Um, Mar Marie is who's asking that. So I'm from the Iron Range, a small town called Kiwatin of a thousand people. Hibbing is the next biggest town, a lot of iron mining towns up there. So that's where I'm from. Middle of Nowheresville, 180 miles north of the Twin Cities. Uh, Kendra just said, the knowledge that this man has and starting and running a thriving photography business is out of this world. Seriously, you can't help but walk away from an interaction with him, virtual or in person, without knowing more than you did when you walked in. Wow. You guys, oh my gosh, Marie is from Cold Rain. That is not far from, from where I'm from. Holy cow. Amazing. Um, so I love that. I love that. I'm going to come back. We're going to continue to talk about that. But this, I, this idea of not having what it takes. So Luke and Kat spent a year and if you can relate to this, working in a photography business that they wanted to get started and they put some blood, sweat and tears into it. And after a year, things were not moving forward. They had only made a $9,000 uh, $9, total and a very small profit. And it was frustrating. I'm sure it was frustrating. Did they have that feeling maybe of did they have what it takes? After a year of work, they'd booked nine clients, $1,100 a client, $9,000 in projected gross income. It wasn't going well for them. So they came to me. They came to me and said, 
you know, Zach, can you coach us and help us with this photography business? We need help. So I did what I'm about to talk to you guys about briefly here. I poured my heart and soul into them and I said, yes, absolutely. Like, let me give you everything that I've got and see what that can do for you. And they did, they did all the work. They listened to everything I had to say. They took all that experience that I had that I poured on to them. This is back in 2011. In the next 12 months, they made $174,000 in their business. That was the title of my email today, um, how this couple made $174,000. And their business has been going strong for the last decade since. And it's beautiful, right? It's this beautiful um, exchange, you know, of, uh, of me giving them the formula that they needed, the, the, the starting steps they needed to, to then go run, you know, go run and, and, ex and live the life that they've dreamed of. And it's beautiful. So what do they do? So I broke that down into three categories because I keep getting asked these same three questions. These are the three questions. Question number one, how do I convert customers or how do I convert people that are interested in my photography business into a customer? Like, how do I do that? What is the process for doing that? Uh, how can I do that? So let, let me step into that for, for a second with you and, and let's talk about it, okay? I love this quote from Dale Carnegie. He says, you can make more friends in two months by becoming genuinely interested in other people than you can in two years trying to get other people interested in you. It's very simple. If you want, if somebody's interested in your photography, if somebody's interested in booking you, if somebody's saying, I like what you do, and you're wondering, how do I convert them? How do I book them? It's really just one simple thing that you need to do. Jack Trout says people make purchasing decisions based on an emotional connection to a product or service. So what does that mean? Tell stories. We talk about this in the Photo Mentorship Pro all the time. You, you, you pick up that camera and you're photographing something that's telling a story. But then when we meet with a customer, what do we talk about? We talk about how long we've been a photographer or how sharp our photos are, what kind of gear we have or how good quality maybe our canvases that we might hang on the wall are. And that's not what they're there for. They're there to have their story told. Stories are these powerful, emotional, moving things. Just tell your best stories. Tell your best stories. How do you tell a great story? You photograph something of meaning, you photograph something that matters, and then you talk about that story, and then you showcase that story to people. That's how we do it. It's this beautiful process, right, of telling powerful stories. Stories that have meaning, stories that have significance. That's it. Okay? That's all you need to do is tell powerful stories. And when I started doing this, I realized that, you know, somebody would be interested and I'd say, you know, I think the best next thing to do is probably talk to them because it's better to communicate on the phone or in person with somebody that's interested in working with you than it is to shoot an email back and forth because emails don't have a face. They don't have a smile. They don't have tone. They don't have passion, right? Unless you're a phenomenal writer, which very few of us are. So it's better to connect with that person. Use an email to tease them, to get closer to them. And then when you meet with them in person, you have a chance to win them over. You do that by simply listening to them and then telling great stories. And when you tell your great story, so I would start doing this. I would start sitting down with a customer and I realized, well, I'm a photographer. I tell stories. I was shooting weddings. An album is a story. It's a book, right, that tells a story from front to back. So then I would do that and I would open up this book, hold a page in my hand, and I would say, let me tell you a story. Because they would say, I'd say, let me tell you about what we do. Let me tell you a story. And I would tell this moving, powerful, engaging story. And I would open the book and I'd show them the story with context, with meaning. And it was this beautiful, powerful story about a bride whose father had passed away and then he had filmed the two of them dancing together before he passed away of her dancing in a, in a white dress, the father-daughter dance. And then at the reception, they play that video and the photograph is the mother with tears in her eyes. And that moment, that moment of legacy. And I would say, this is what we do. 
is this what you're looking for? And that was the moment, that was that emotional connection to the product and service. And it was so powerful. It was the most powerful thing I could do. It's that simple, tell great stories. You already are a storyteller. Tell those great stories. What was next? Well, now that you have these customers, right? You've got a customer, they booked you. You told them, this is what I'm going to do for you. And they said, yes, that sounds wonderful. And if you just do this, you have failed miserably. The failure for us is when we only do what they think we're going to do, what they're expecting us to do. If you want a customers to rave about you, and you want to build a photography business, you want to build a business that matters, any kind of business, doesn't matter if you're in photography or not, do something worth remarking on. It's that simple. I just need to do something worth remarking on. And usually the thing that's remar worth remarking on, how you do that, is simply caring about them as a person. How do I care about them, right? How do I wow a customer? I love this quote from Seth Godin. He says, service is worth talking about, get talked about. Do something, being remarkable is literally as simple as this. Do something people will talk about. You know, I booked this photographer to do this great photo shoot for me. And then, you know, maybe it's a family beach portrait session, right? You're booking a family beach portrait session. And that's your thing. And that's what the, a mom who's coming out to the beach is getting her, her photo taken. And you send her a $5 Starbucks gift card and say, hey, mom, I know that you came out here to, to do a photo shoot with your family, don't forget to take some time to yourself and reflect on the legacy that you're leaving for your family and how much you matter. You are the backbone of this family. And I just want you to know that I recognize that in you. And I'm grateful I get to be a part of your story. And then she gets this from you and she, the, the mother goes, wow, you care about me? That's amazing. You know, I literally did that to brides because we knew two weeks before the wedding, it was chaos. We would say, hey, don't forget. Hey, the wedding is great. But don't forget what this is about. It's about the two of you. Take time out. Don't talk about the wedding. Talk about each other. And that 5 or $10 investment into a couple was worth remarking on. It was this powerful, remarkable thing. Did a lot of things like that. Put up a slideshow at a wedding of the photos that I had shot earlier in the day and then put a little card down that said, to view images from this wedding, take this great little photo of the couple from their engagement shoot. And everybody went, wow, what an experience. This is worth talking about. This is worth remarking on. And I booked wedding after wedding after wedding from that simple, simple little marketing tool, but this remarkable moment for them. So then the question number three that I get all the time that I've gotten a lot this week is, okay, now that I've got these customers and I'm doing my best to come up with a couple of um, surprises and a couple delightful things, two or three things that I can do that are out of what I said I was going to do. They're more, right? I'm under-promising and over-delivering. And they seem really excited. They love this experience of working with me. Now what? How do I get them to refer me, right? That's the last step. So I'm, I'm looking at a couple of comments here. I see Steve Weibel's being snarky. He said, look at all those hairs, Zach. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, Chris said, uh, I love your story, Zach. This has changed the way that I think about approaching customer service and talking about photography with people. Mm. And then Shonda said, I've been with TPM Pro since it came out. It has helped me build my confidence and go outside my comfort zone. Wow. Amazing, this is so great. Okay, so the last thing, how do we get customers to talk about us? How do we get referrals from existing customers? The best customers on the planet are the ones that are just like our best customers. So you, you work with a customer, they love you, they're excited, they were happy to pay. You did these extra couple of things, right? Maybe it's a few things that you did and they were, they were really loving it and they told you they loved it. But then, you can't figure out why, why are they not referring me? They're not sending me any new customers. What's going on? You may be wondering to yourself, what's going on? Why are they not 
referring me? Well, maybe it's because you simply didn't ask, right? Maybe you didn't ask anybody to send you a referral. It's really most of the time that simple. Simply just asking. I say this all the time. Wow a customer, blow them away. And then once you're done with that experience, right at the very end say, hey, you're the kind, I used to literally say this to customers. I, I would say, you know, you're the kind of customer I want to build my business on. Customers just like you. Would you do me the biggest favor in the world? I want to give you a great reason to talk about me and a way to do that. Would you do that for me? I want all your friends to book me. All your bridesmaids, if you're a wedding photographer, all your other mom friends who would come to the beach to get beach portrait sessions, all the people in your neighborhood that you did that um, you know, family photo session for. I want to work with all of them. And let me come up with a way for us to do that together. So you give them a reason to talk, and then you give them a tool. One simple thing. Would you do this? Will you share this to your Facebook page? Will you email five friends and tell them, hey, if you're looking for a photographer, my photographer's amazing. You need to book them. A lot of times they don't do that because they don't realize you need more business. They just think you're the best thing on the planet. So they, they neglect to do that one simple step that's going to get them to refer you. So I photographed this wedding. I'll show you a picture of this back in 2010. For Vince Gill and Amy Grant, that's sort of the, um, the picture of the picture. There's like the actual pic, one of the actual pictures you can see uh, right here uh, of the wedding. You can see the difference there. It looks a little wonky in this. But this is, you know, the actual People magazine. So I, I photographed a wedding for Vince Gill and Amy Grant's daughter, Jenny Gill, back in 2010. And it was phenomenal. And in my mind, I'm thinking, this is amazing. I'm working with a celebrity. He's going to talk about it. His daughter's in the industry. It's getting published in People Magazine. Three million people are going to buy it. I'm working with the best planner in Tennessee who uh, used to be the deputy director of White House events and planned Bill Clinton's daughter's wedding. I'm going to be everywhere. It's going to be amazing. And I shoot the wedding. We do all the things. Under promise, over deliver. They love it. We the Wow Factor. We're, we're published in this big magazine. It goes out everywhere. And I got no referrals, not one. And I was sort of blown away. And I was like, whoa, what happened, <laughs> you know? And then it was literally a year later. And I realized I never asked. I didn't do those, that last step. I didn't simply do the last, not only did I not do the last step, but I didn't do the last two steps for the wedding planner, who is the engineer of the whole thing. Her name's Dory. And I realized, because she had emailed me and said, hey, can I get some pictures from the wedding from a year ago? And I was like, I got her prints, made her an album, sent it to her, shipped it overnight, I think. And I just went, oh my gosh, I totally blew this. And I said, I totally messed up. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to get you all this great stuff. Sent it all to her and she was elated. And she immediately sent me two weddings, booked one of them, Bob Corker, the Tennessee State Senator at the time, his daughter's wedding because she was planning it. And she said, oh, we got to work together again because she remembered how great it was to work together. And I just missed that one step, which was get the planner photos, right? Do under promise and over deliver and get them to her right away. I did that. And it blew up, right? I made like $8,000 on the next wedding, the next day, and the next week when I booked it. And I solved that problem. Those are the three most important things that you can do, right? The three most in important things that you can do. <sighs> Tell great stories. Under promise and over deliver. Wow your customers with surprises things that are usually personal, right, about them. And then ask them for referrals. It's, it's that simple. And give them an easy way to refer you. Make it very simple and very easy. So if you want to hear more about this in more detail, you want to hear all the little tactics, like what are the four steps that I actually walk through when I'm meeting with somebody to build a relationship, to hear their story, to convert them, to tell great stories and show them how I do that. 
I do all of that. I'm going to be doing all of that on Wednesday at noon. I've got this great class. I'm going to comment right now for you guys. Uh, it should be right here at the, at the bottom of the comments or the top of the comments if you're on Facebook. Click that link that I just put in there, um, that little bit.ly link. And that's uh, what that is, is that is a, a link to this right here. The three, three secrets of getting paid to shoot. I'm going to talk about what we just talked about in greater detail on that free web class and I'm, we're giving away a thousand dollar Canon RP camera on that class. So come to the class, all of you TPM pro members come, but don't, don't win. You know, let somebody else win or you guys can come. I'd love to see anybody there obviously, but come and register for that class. At the end of the class, you guys have been hearing a bit about TPM pro and you're like, what, this thing sounds cool. What is this thing? Well, TPM pro is this paid membership. Um, it's 99 bucks a month and it has all this amazing stuff in it and you get all these great courses and skill training and live coaching like this uh, every single week and it's really powerful and transformational and we guarantee in 30 days that you're going to make more than it's going to cost you in a year uh, for TPM within the first 30 days and it's really great um, but we'll talk about at the end there's this great bonus if you want to get it um, at the end of the class but the benefit to the class um, it's not just us talking about TPM Pro and giving you a chance to, to come and join TPM Pro if you want to. Um, it's really learning these lessons and being inspired by this beautiful community of people um, that are around us. So check this out. I'll show you this really quick and then I'll come back. So hang tight real quick. I'm going to show you a quick video um, and then I'll come back and we'll, we'll wrap it up. All right, here we go. Hey, it's Zach Gray here and I am so excited to be back and to be teaching this brand new class called The Three Secrets to Getting Paid to Shoot. In this class, I'm going to be teaching you the best lessons from my brand new course, Paid to Shoot 101. And you may be asking, what exactly is that, Zach? What are you doing? Well, the Paid to Shoot 101 course is part of the new Paid to Shoot system inside this really great membership I'm a part of called the Photo Mentorship Pro. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys the best lessons from my Pay to Shoot 101 course. Inside this masterclass, you're gonna learn how to convert more clients, get those clients excited about you, and get them talking about you and referring you to all of their friends so that you can grow your photography business. The best part is, is it's absolutely free. Yes, 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 TPM Pro, all this amazing stuff we're doing with David Molnar, Nada Salvatore, all these great pro mentors that are running these great businesses and teaching this great content. Um, that's a lot of the stuff that's gonna be inside of that free masterclass that I'm doing, the three secrets of getting paid to shoot. I would love to see you there. Um, come and join me for it, it's gonna be fantastic. Thank you so much for tuning into this live as well. I'm so grateful to see you guys here. Um, and I'm going to promote this. I'm going to put this on my other pages and, and uh, give other people a chance to come see it. So thank you guys for coming here and being a part of this. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, so yes, click that link right there that, uh, for me, Zach Gray, the photography business coach. Click that link, sign up for the masterclass. I'd love to see you there. And ask questions below. If you have questions, ask them below and I'm going to answer them on this page for you. Um, I'm going to be tuning in. I'm going to be here doing my best to help every single one of you. Uh, Ricky just said it's been a minute. Yes, it has been, my friend. Uh, or Sorry, Rico. Um, you rock Fuzzy Grace and Steve Weibel. <laughs> you crack me up. You guys are fighting over in Canon and Nikons over there. You guys are the best. Um, thank you so much for being here and for being a part of this. And I'm really grateful uh, to all of you guys. And I will see all of you guys very, very soon. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys.